it'll stomp its feet at you, it'll stick its tail up in the air and stomp its feet at you again and say, seriously, I'm going to do something. I'm going to spray you. Get away from me. And then if you're still there and you're still close to it, then it'll spray you. Okay? So it does lots and lots of things to try and convince you to go away. So if you see a skunk, so when, I, when we talked about raccoons, I said, if you see a raccoon, scare it away. If you see a skunk, what do you want to do? Walk, walk, away. walk away. Walk away. Give it some distance. <laughs> Give it some distance. If you can, if it's causing a problem in an area, and skunks normally don't cause too many problems, they'll just kind of walk through an area. If you see a skunk and it's causing a problem, you can scare it away from a distance. So maybe um, throwing rocks or sticks near it, but keeping your distance from it, and just kind of convince it that you know, just kind of aggravate it a little bit and convince it to move on. But you don't want to actually approach it. You don't actually want to scare it in any way or um, anything like that. And who here, raise your hand if you have a pet dog. Okay. If you have a skunk outside, are you going to let your dog outside? No, no. definitely not. Uh -uh. No, because the first thing your dog's going to do is go, run, is go and check out that skunk. And what's going to happen? Your dog is going to smell really bad because our dog's